What's up YouTube? It's been about four months since I've done any astrophotography videos. I've been posting pictures all over Astroban and Instagram, but I have not done a video in over four months. And actually I have not done a deep space photography video in maybe six months. The last video I did was Jupiter and Saturn. Anyway, tonight I'm um this is a target I've done before. Uh you can see right here this is Bode's Galaxy and the Cigar Galaxy together. You can see right here. Here's Bode's, Bode's Galaxy, and here's the Cigar Galaxy. But tonight, I'm using, uh, this is my first time using a different camera. This is the ZWO ASI 533MC Pro Cooled Color Camera, one-shot color camera. This is a used camera. I got it off uh, Cloudy Nights from a guy. He only used it, he bought it January 2021, used it a few times, decided it wasn't for him, so he posted it up for sale. So got it for a good price. Uh, so it's barely any use. It, it looks so brand new when I got it, but um, it took a while to get this stuff figured out how to use a one-shot color camera for deep space because I'm used to using mono, the 1600mm mono chrome cooled camera, which you got to use filters and everything. But this one's one-shot color, and I'm using a, um, I can't remember the filter. I'm going to put it in the description. I'm going to put it, pop it in the screen right here, the kind of filter. So, uh, Light pollution filter, luminance, I can't remember. I've already bought it, it's on a camera now. But there's one filter in here and it took about two weeks of me trying to get this camera straight where I could take pictures where they look, their color on here but when I go to process them on Pixin site, everything looks crazy, like what am I doing wrong? Basically came down to uh, what equipment I had to choose, um, ASI camera, which ASCOM drivers versus using the native default drivers. And this driver's version 6.5. Once I did that, it looks like everything came out. And first I was choosing something different from RGGB and all that. And that's what screwed up a lot of stuff. So I did a few weeks of wasted nights where you image the entire night long and think you got something good. Then you shoot all your calibration frames and you go to process it and it turns out like trash. So tonight, I think I got it right because I shot about four or five pictures, transferred them over, processed it and everything came out so the way it's supposed to, the colors were fine. So I'm trying it tonight. Um, what I did was first few hours I did, since it was low on horizon, I did this one galaxy, NGC 7814 until Bode's galaxy came in view. I also have a custom horizon now. I went, did my horizon from my um, backyard. And as you can see, like right here, where can you show it? Options, oh, maybe framing. I'm still getting used to Nina on some of this stuff here. I think it's on here. Anyway, on here, you can see the framing. Like right now, Bold's and Cigar Galaxy is right here. And you can see my horizon is about this one I'm working with tonight. See this line right here, then it drops off right up in here. So I have all night until about maybe five or so in the morning. This one, the sun rises right here. So the custom horizon really helps out a whole lot on here. Like this one galaxy. You can see this is my horizon right here. All this gray line right here, this is my horizon. That's how my backyard looks as far as terrain and um, elevation with when you go with your compass and you take all the pictures and you stitch it all together. So basically this galaxy was in view from this time here because it's trees, 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 open sky, open sky, open sky, open sky, all the way to here and it's trees. Trees come in right here. So I had it until about that time and that's when I could do Bode's. So Bode's is available all the way until about 5, 5.54 in the morning. So this target right here, you can see it's going to run until about 4.30 in the morning. I could add more. I have, I'm doing 400 frames at one minute each and I'm doing um, gain of 100 offset of 70. See that the setting I chose, you can't see it right here, but um, if I go to equipment right here, you can see default is gain. I'm doing unity gain, which is 100 and offset is 70. So I'm trying that with this, this camera, see how it comes out. But um, looks like it's going pretty well. Zoom in and um, stars are pretty round. Autofocus is working perfectly. But you kind of see some of the colors of this galaxy right here, the cigar, a few reds in there and stuff like that. Guiding, I'm at 0.55 right now. That's really, really good for this uh, EQ6R Pro mount. This mount has been nothing but the truth once I switched to it a year ago. No complaints. This mount is just a beast. It, it just keeps going and it's perfect. I still have my AVX. I haven't 
really done anything with it yet, but I'm real close to building a miniature observatory in the backyard with a roll off roof. It's like a miniature shed. It has a slide roof top. I'm waiting for it to come back in stock and I'm gonna build a base platform and I'm gonna place this EQ6R Pro mount in there. But I'm gonna probably keep it on the tripod just in case I need to move it or do something else. In my AVX, I probably use that for planetary and lunar images because that mount is still still works for that. So I don't, I don't want to make this video too long, but just want to show what I've been doing. Um, Nina, I'm using the beta version, the nightly, yeah, beta, which basically updated right now. I got to update right now. I haven't went with it yet, but uh, it seems to be stable. Everything works. I still might want to try the um, ground station where you get all your alerts sent to like an email if something fails or has problems. I just haven't set any that stuff up yet. And tonight our temperature is going down to 16 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's already about 20. Let me look at this thermometer. 25. I could find out. And about 3 a.m. it drops down to about 17 or 16 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, that's all I got. I'm going to end this video and post this image of Bodes and Cigar Galaxy. Hopefully it comes out nicely with this one shot color camera. All right, the rig ran pretty good. It's about 18, 6.30 in the morning. Going out to retrieve the laptop. And here's the setup. Still got some frozen snow on the ground. Everything's parked. Laptop is covered. Got my cover right here because it's supposed to be clear all through tonight. So laptop I just keep in here. I have a um, little heating pad up under the laptop. And that just keeps the laptop a little bit warmer than the temperature outside because you know it is a hard drive and motherboard in here. So I keep the heating pad on low and have a little uh, clothes hanger under here so the laptop is not really directly contacted in contact with the heating pad. So it sits on this little coat hanger and allows the heat to rise up to it and without burning the laptop itself. So now I'm about to just disconnect the laptop, put my cover on the mount and the scope, and we do it again tonight. All right, this is what the cover looks like with the scope still on here. And I just wrap a string around to keep the slack with the excess part of the cover from flapping in the wind. But it's just a temporary cover I use for just overnight until I have a better solution. But I'm not keeping the mount out here 24 7 unless it's in like an observatory kind of. Uh, enclosure but it's supposed to be clear all day today and all tonight until tomorrow afternoon so that's what i do i normally just the mountain is already polar aligned and everything's on i just bring my laptop out so this is what a heating pad looks like just a little heating pad and a coat hanger i just cover this up and go back in and take my laptop in the house but that's it hopefully these pictures come out pretty good with this uh new camera see how it goes